Today we're going to look at surface composting. Now the first question is, what is surface composting? So to understand surface composting, let's first look at traditional composting. Now normally with traditional composting, we pile up what we call dry or brown uh, waste with green or wet waste. That means brown waste is things like uh, straw, hay, sawdust, even cardboard, or dead brown leaves. And green waste is things like peelings from the kitchen, old lettuce leaves and things like that, which are still green. And you mix them up either in a heap or in some kind of container Usually you add a bit of water, and that is your traditional compost. So how does surface composting compare with traditional composting? Well, let's take the forest as a model. Now, in a forest, leaves and small twigs fall to the ground, plants in the undergrowth die, and this forms a thin layer on the surface of the floor of the forest. This decomposes and produces new soil. And what we're going to do with surface composting is to try to imitate what happens in nature. So how do we imitate nature? Well, here behind me, I have done some surface composting. Basically, I've taken kitchen waste, and garden waste and just literally dumped it here on this part of the garden. It's well spread around so it's a thin layer and it's been building up for about six months or so and it's actually started to produce soil as in our model of the forest. So let's take a look at that. Here I have some of the soil from underneath this area. As you can see underneath here, this is clay. It's light coloured soil, which is the original soil of the garden. But above, we have this lovely brown uh, surface, which is basically being produced by our surface composting. So it's actually starting to produce new soil already, which is going to be great for what I'm going to plant, because I'm going to plant here in this wonderful soil, I'm going to plant this, a rhubarb. Rhubarb's quite a hungry plant, it likes lots of nutrition, so this will be the perfect place, because I'll plant it, and this surface composting will continue to produce nutrition for this plant for a long time to come. So there we have surface composting. This is the how-to part of the video, just to show you how uncomplicated it is to do surface composting. Now one thing to know about surface composting, unlike traditional composting, the constituents of the compost don't uh, rise in temperature. There's no kind of heat generated like in traditional composting. Now in traditional composting, this heat kills seeds, weed seeds and any other seeds you may have in your compost. Whereas with surface composting, these uh, little bits of kitchen waste just go simply on the garden and there's no uh, rise in temperature or anything like that to kill seeds. So if you have seeds in here, uh, like tomato seeds, apple seeds, 
or even uh, peach stones, they could actually grow at a later date. So just to be aware of that. Now here I have kitchen waste. We have a little plastic container here where we, which we had when we bought some food and we recycled it as our little uh, container for kitchen waste. So let's show you what's in here. There, if you look in there, you'll see bits of lemon peel, orange peel, apple peel, eggs, or eggshell certainly. There's a little bit of courgette there, or zucchini as the Americans say. Here, even tea bags. So, certainly a mix of uh, kitchen waste. So let's see how complicated it is to spread this on the garden. Okay, follow me. So, this is the area below me that I want to improve. I want to improve the fertility and the quality of nutrition in this part of the garden, which is just next to my vegetable garden. So, this is the action. Watch this. there. It's as simple as that. Not complicated at all, unlike possibly uh, traditional composting, which involves uh, a little bit more complexity. So, the rhubarb is planted. So looking at surface composting, we see it's actually quite simple. In fact, it's relatively idiot-proof, unlike traditional composting, which may seem sometimes a little complicated. So, the things to remember are this. We take the green waste from the kitchen or from the garden and we spread it around thinly. We don't put any meat products in it because we will have some undesirable visitors if we do that, such as rats. So, no meat products in it, as with normal traditional compost. But you can add things like eggshells, cardboard that has no print on it, and again even paper or tissue which has again no print on it. And it's as simple as that. So one thing to remember also is if you have already planted an area you can in fact uh, dress the surface with this idea of surface compost. You can put your old banana peels or your uh, peelings from potatoes next to the plants that are growing and that will slowly disintegrate into the soil. It's not very pretty to be honest but it's extremely effective and as I said it's idiot proof. So now I'll just leave you with a little view of my lovely rhubarb growing in its new position. Bye for now.